one source of difference among engineers today is, is your training in different disciplines. Indeed, uh, in among different disciplines, there's a great deal of uh, competition and sometimes even skepticism. As you're being trained in one discipline, you'll look upon another uh, with some, uh, some skepticism about what goes on there. By taking a look at the history of engineering disciplines in the United States, we can gain a better sense of the origin of those differences, as well as um, uh, providing a means for discovering some distinct um, sources of sharedness among disciplines, engineering disciplines in the United States. So let's take a look then at uh, the 19th century, uh, looking specifically at the emergence of civil engineering. If you want to gain a sense of, of the source of uh, engineering disciplines in the United States, we need to take a look, uh, recognize that, uh, that in, uh, engineering in the United States brings together traditions from both the French and the British. The French interest in theory combines in a way with the British uh, focus on practical knowledge to produce uh, American engineering. So to the extent that we value theoretical insight and mathematical knowledge, we're drawing significantly upon a French tradition. And to the extent we focus on practical knowledge and practical activities, we're drawing from the British. It's helpful to recognize that in the history of engineering disciplines in the United States, one can distinguish two distinct traditions, two descent lines, as it were, or distinct families of engineering disciplines, which could be described simply as a, a descent line uh, originating with civil engineers and a descent line originating with mechanical engineers. These two, form, these two descent lines had distinct origins and distinct sources of emergence. The engineering profession in the United States uh, developed in the early part of the 19th century in association with the federal government and with state government. Now you have to understand that this new nation state uh, still faced uh, uh, a world of, uh, that included military threats. There was a threat from, uh, pr a continuing threat from Great Britain. You remember perhaps the War of 1812. At the same time, there was great skepticism among American citizens of centralized government. Uh, the United States did not want to reproduce a uh, monarchy. So there was great concern about overly centralizing government in the United States. Meanwhile, uh, at the state level, the states had all sorts of problems in, in trying to um, build a more uh, economically viable country. The states were concerned with what were called internal, quote, improvements. They needed to improve somehow the, quali the, the, uh, the quality of the production systems inside of their state boundaries. This meant building roads and bridges, improving transportation, developing forms of inland navigation. In the United States, all authority was vested in the states through the Constitution, except what the federal government explicitly took on for itself. And in the uh, arena of, of uh, internal improvements, most of the authority rested with the states. <coughs> 